I'm back and I am going to do the third bag from my big hoarder house vintage clothing lot. Um, it is 100 degrees outside. It's pretty much the same day that I've been filming all this. I am just trying to get the bags open to see what the, what's in them, sorting out things, getting them off hangers washing and cleaning things that I want to start listing and getting up online and just in general checking the quality and seeing what I got. The quality for most everything that I've been opening so far is really good and really usable. A lot of shirts so far is what I've been finding, a lot of 1970s blouses and button-up shirts and uh, we went through a bag with sweaters. They're all mixed together. I don't really know exactly what I got, but we're going to continue on with bag number three right now. This is fun. It's like, I'm so excited. It's just like Christmas, trying to get it all done in one day, and I know I'm not going to because I have like 15 bags. Now I'm outside working. I stated it in the other video. I'm outside because they don't have smells, they're not moldy, they're not anything like that, but they're really dusty. And I can tell the dust is starting to bother me and I have allergies, so. All right, let's go, let's see what we got in this bag. Hey, I bet we're gonna have more blouses. Or maybe dresses, I, I don't know. Oh, I found the dresses. Oh, yay. So happy to find some dresses. So this is definitely a 60s dress. We got a little spot right there, a little tiny spot that I will try to treat and see if I can get out. But I'm so happy to find something other than blouses just for a change. Okay, so I will treat that for stains. Oh, this one is a set. So this one is, oh, I love this print and the collar on it. That is so great. So it's got this little shift dress underneath of it and then a little top. And this is probably um, 60s, early 70s. And there's the matching top. I love sets because you can wear sets so many different ways. Okay, so I was happy to find some dresses. I know there's not a lot of dresses, but I think the dresses that are gonna be there are gonna be fun ones. So this is like a little hand, looks like it's um, a knit, a hand knit, little sweater vest. I think she might've been a knitter, I'm not sure. So here's a little, probably um, 1980s, a little button front short sleeve blouse with puff sleeve on it. 1960s. Top, little knit top. Love the little crochet details on that and around the edges. And like I can feel like it's dusty, that there's dust on it. You know, once again, he said that these were in, in, um, and you can see when I shook that, that this one, this one has the liner on it and the liner is deteriorating. So I am gonna just stick that one right over there. And that's probably why you feel the dust in there because some things, like the nylon liners on things, that deteriorates and that just happens with age. It has nothing to do with how it was stored. It just starts to deteriorate. Okay, so this is looks like a 90s dress. Um, maxi length and it has a tie back to it and it's got that crinkle fabric. It's 100% rayon and made in India. And it's tag is American Angel. So I'm gonna put that one over here. Oh, a cute little 70 or 60, 70s dress. They sure did love their brown colors in the 70s, 60s and 70s. Okay, this is a jacket called from Dialogue. This is a newer label. 
it's probably, it's a nice oversized fit, and it's probably 90s. Nineties little uh, paisley skirt. Mm. Oh, oh, this is great. This is great. This is from Queen's Row, Inc. Let's find out if, oh, the elastic's good. Elastic's good. Elastic's good, so this will be a good dress. Elastic's all good on it. It's got that tie bow. That's, that's nice. Nice 70s dress. Here is a Bleecker Street. I like Bleecker Street labels too. Oh, this is nice too. Look at that one. Nice 70s. I think some of these were his sisters. Um, he told me that, told us that she was a model. So if she was doing modeling for a magazine, like, you know, like Montgomery Ward or things like that. There might have been an ability for her then to keep some of the clothes that she modeled. And uh, here's another Bleecker Street. And their division of Jonathan Logan. Hmm. Oh, this one has a... She, she was pinning lots of things, so I'm not sure why she was pinning things. So every now and then, I'm poked with a pin. It's a little peach top. A little white top, 1970s. A little like mint green top. <laughs> Looks like more uh, blouses. Nope, dresses. Look at this dress. Oh, that one's good. This one's called Shady Lane, and it's also a division of Jonathan Logan. The print on this is great. So this is probably late 60s, early 70s. And I'm guessing that this probably belonged to his sister. A really fun blouse. dress with pins. Don't know why there's a pin there. This is an Edith flag label in this dress. <laughs> Polyester 70s top in pink. <laughs> it's twin in blue. One in orange. And these like, they're not, they haven't been worn. The labels on them look unwashed. 100% polyester. And it's got pins all over it. I don't know why it has pins all over it. Maybe it's pinned because they came pinned when they were bought. I don't know. Oh, I know why it's pinned. It's pinned because the sleeve 
needs to be rehemmed. So that's why it's pinned, but that's okay. That's a simple fix. I can sew a seam, another mint green polyester top. <laughs> Two more polyester tops. The woman loved her separates. <laughs> polyester pantsuit. Oh my gosh, look at that print. This is so good. I don't know this label. Marty Gutmacher. <laughs> great label right so this is a size 16 let's check the pants out see if the elastic's good elastic is good oh my gosh look at those pants i love it love it Top. A corduroy 1980s jacket. I'm gonna put that with the jackets. some issues here <laughs> how everything's hooked up okay what do we got what do we got another pantsuit so another polyester pantsuit and this one is by Bleecker Street it's got the original belt with it <laughs> it looks like she was gonna hem the pants she's got one leg hemmed up, ready to go, and the other one is not pinned up. So I'm guessing she had <laughs> lots of projects that she never got completed. And she just gave up and put them in her closet. And okay, elastic is good on those also. Looks like I need to go in and sew up because it's some of the seam is coming undone. So I'll go in and I'll fix those and sew those up. But right now, I'm going to take the hem down so that I don't stab myself. That way I can wash it up and put it out to dry. dress and there's a pin of course there's a pin in it There a pin in this. I 
I think there it's pinned because she never wore it. And maybe she wanted to take it in, I don't know. I don't know, but that's cute too. Another dress. No pins in this one. Doesn't look like anyway. So a little bit of Lorex again. I think that's probably an 80s top. A little knit cape. Okay, all right, so this is a dress. There is a hole right here and here where the seam came undone. So easy fix. It has the matching jacket with it. So I'm gonna put that aside. Okay, another shift dress. This one has some spots on it. This one has a metal zipper. So this one's gonna be probably early 60s is what I'm guessing. So this one's gonna need a soak. It's got some discoloration on the shoulders. Oh, a pretty coat. That's a pretty coat. 1960s, probably early 60s coat. Put that over here. Woo! I need to take a drink. <laughs> it's hot one out here today. All right. We're not done yet. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, wow. Okay, so I have a set. Looks like there's a um, sweater. So there's the sweater. Looks like there. <laughs> this is Bleecker Street also. I really think they like Bleecker Street. I'm finding a lot of Bleecker Street. Okay, so we got this outer sweater, a really pretty matching scarf. We have the short sleeved or sleeveless top. And pants. And elastic skirt. That's really nice. I like that one too. Oh, look at this. Look at this print. This is great. Look at that one. This is Bleecker Street also. Got a little loose thread there. Oh, that's, that's great. Great print on that. Oh, oh, look at this one. This is called Prince, Prince, and it's spelled P-R-Y-N-T-S, and that's by Bleecker Street. But the print is awesome. Look at the print on that one. 
And I, I like her little, um, her little hanger. It says $10, size 14 and a half. So I don't know if this is a 14 and a half. Let's look and see. Nope, it must be just some random hanger she used because this says it's a size 10. Yep, and the shirt is, the top is a 10. Oh, I feel another pant set in my future. Yep. <laughs> so this is another, I'm gonna say it's a leisure pantsuit. elastic shot on this one so I have to go in and fix the elastic on those oh I think I found the matching skirt to the top okay so this is an 80s this is 60s maybe 70s I am missing the tag but there you go maxi skirt set there and then another maxi skirt from the 70s with the original tag and matching belts. And the elastic's good. So there you go. Let's see, I think that's it. Oh, this this one. It is this one. Oh, and just a little bleaker street dress. Um, I have a seam that I will need to fix here. There's a little hole there, but that's not a big deal. I will fix that. So a little polyester, empire waist style, gather bodice, 70s dress. Okay guys, that's it. That was bag number three. That's what I found in bag number three. I have a lot of washing to do. I have some stain removal to do. I have some mending to do. But these are all things that I expect when you're buying vintage inventory in bulk. You're going to expect to find those things. Um, you shouldn't be worried about that. You should just get them a sewing machine, know how to sew a basic stitch, know how to do some stain treatment, uh, and you know, and you should be good to go. In general, most of the items I am pulling out are in good quality. I'm really surprised at how good the quality is still on a lot of these vintage items so far I've found. Let's see, I'm in, I was on bag three, so I got, what, 12 more bags to go? <laughs> oh my gosh. If I think about it too much, it just gets completely overwhelming. So thanks for watching, and I will see you real soon with another bag haul. All right, bye-bye.